Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer, myself. I'm Jesse, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I have never had before. It's from Sam Adams. It's in their winter seasonal pack. This is their Cherry Chocolate Bock. Now, um, I've never had the regular Chocolate Bock either, so um, I've heard good things. But uh, the Cherry, in ways, seems a little off-putting to me, but in ways... It seems appealing to, um, I had their cherry wheat, and I just thought it was, like, too overpoweringly, I mean, there was just way too much cherry, cherry there. Just like with their blueberry hill lager, there was, it was just too much blueberry there. Um, so, the experiences that I've had with fruit additives in Sam Adams beers isn't good, but, um, this being, it's, it's a chocolate bock. Cherry sounds like it might be accented by that kind of well. So, I mean, I love cordial cherry. So, anyway, I'm hoping for the best with this one. Let's uh, get into the numbers on this. Beer Advocate gives it an 84, which is good, and that's with 214 ratings. Rate Beer gives it a 75 overall with a 93 for the style. Um, and the bros have not had this beer. It has an ABV of 5.8% and a rotating availability. Um, the style is, um, I mean, it's a Bach, but, uh, and that's what it said on Beer Advocate, but on Rate Beer, I noticed it said it was a fruit beer, um, so I guess it's kind of, it's kind of both, I mean, but it's, it's a fruit Bach, but, um, uh, anyway, if you didn't know, Sam Adams is the Boston Beer Company out of, uh, Boston, Massachusetts, so, um, let's go ahead and read, uh, quick the script here. This special release is brewed just for the holidays. For a new approach to the classic favorite, we added cherries to our traditional chocolate bock for a sweet, slightly tart note. Aged on a bed of dark cocoa nibs, the malty, chocolatey, and dark fruit flavors create a rich, complex beer perfect for winter. Cheers. So, from that description... Um, yeah, it's the same thing it says on the bottle. From that description, it definitely sounds like, uh, sounds pretty good. So, let's go ahead and get this cracked open. Good bit of smoke there. Uh, this is a daiquiri glass, but, I mean, I, I like using it for dark lagers like box and porters and, um, brown ales and stuff. I don't know, I just... I've always uh, drank those out of out of this thing, so. Alright. Has a nice appearance. Let's see here. It is dark. Black, even. Um, looks, uh... Looks almost like a porter, except for the, um, the carbonation. I am seeing quite a bit of bubble streaming up. Um, which is good because it is a lager, I mean, being a Bach. It has a nice, um, tan head. Looks pretty creamy. Um, yeah, pretty small bubbles there. Um, but it is, I mean, that is dark. That is like opaque, like black. I'm not getting any light through there whatsoever. Um, so let's get a nose on this. Oh, wow. That's uh, I can definitely smell the cherries, right up front. Excuse me, it smells like a dark, like a Bing cherry or something. Kind of darker. A little bit of chocolate. It smells like a dark chocolate, like um, like like a, you know, really dark baker's chocolate or something. Not really picking up anything else on the nose. The cherry is kind of strong, but I'm definitely getting the cherry. I'm definitely getting the chocolate malt. Maybe the slightest tint of like coffee or something. But that chocolate's really, really strong. Really dark, really strong. Honestly, I don't like fruit beers, but this, the cherry does accent the chocolate well. It smells really good, so I'm going to go on ahead and jump into this one. Oh wow. 
That's really good. The cherry is very faint in the flavor. Picking up, definitely picking it up more on the nose than I am in the flavor. I'm getting a little cherry there, but I'm getting that really dark chocolate. Um, just really dark chocolate. Um, a little bit of a coffee malt. Um, I'm getting maybe some other dark fruits in there, um, like prunes or dates or something. Um, it's pretty simple, but it at the same time is really delicious. It has a nice mouth feel. Um, a little thicker than what I would normally expect for a Bach. But then again, the color is a lot darker than what I would normally expect for a Bach, too. But um, I've never actually had a chocolate Bach before, so... You know, I've never had uh, Sam Adams or any other type. I've seen other ones out there, but this is the first for me. Um, it is really good, though. I mean, this would be a great dessert beer. I mean... Drinkability, really up there. Um, very carbonated on the mouth. Which, it's, it's, again, it's a lager, though, so... But, um, yeah, great dessert beer. Um, the flavor is good. It's definitely, I mean, drinkability is up there. I could drink, I could drink this all day. Um, sessionability, I mean, 5.8%. You're going to start to feel this after, you know, two or three of these things. So that's a little more than like a Budweiser or something, but still, it's not super high. Um, the uh, ABV, so, you know, session ability, it's pretty good too. Um, you could definitely drink quite a few of these without making yourself sick or anything. But, uh, yeah, this is a good beer. I'm going to give Sam Adams Cherry Chocolate Bakken 8 out of 10. I like this beer. It's a good beer. If you see it, pick it up. You might not be able to get it um, for much longer. I mean, I know you're not going to be able to get it uh, after, probably after... Christmas, but, um, I mean, you might be able to find it in, like, January, February, that's still winter, but I don't think you're going to be seeing it after Christmas, so, um, I'd say, if you see it, pick it up now, Sam Adams Cherry Chocolate Bach, 8 out of 10, pretty good beer, so, thank you for watching, and keep watching again in the future for more reviews, post.